This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. One of the great things about kayak touring is that on a very simple level, you can just slip on a life jacket, grab a paddle, and start paddling around without any prior experience. But something that all paddlers should be aware of are the general rules of the road when it comes to navigating on our waterways, particularly in high use areas. The biggest problem for kayakers is that compared to motorized boat traffic, we move at a snail's pace on the water, which makes it hard to get out of the way of other boat traffic. We also carry a very low profile on the water, which can make it difficult for other boats to see us, even when we're in wide open water. This is why it's important to make ourselves as visible as possible on the water and to understand how other boats navigate through the waterways. Looking at navigation on a very basic level, you'll find colored buoys on almost any waterway that has regular motorized boat traffic. The red and green buoys are there to define the main channel and the safest path for power boats to take. To help remember where the main channel is, use the rule of three R's, red, right, returning. And what this means is that if you're returning from open water or paddling upstream on a river, you'll want to keep the red buoys on your right side in order to stay in the main channel. Of course, the main channel is also a good spot for kayakers to avoid altogether. If you do have to cross a boating channel, go straight across and stay together as a group. Although you can expect most boat traffic to stay in these main channels, smaller power boats that can travel through shallow water are a lot less predictable, and so they tend to present the biggest threat to paddlers. This is why wearing a brightly colored life jacket is always a great idea, and to use a light if you're paddling in low light conditions. One inevitability if you're paddling in high boat traffic areas is dealing with boat wake, and power boats can kick up some pretty significant waves. The most controlled and stable way to deal with boats wake is to point your kayak directly into the oncoming waves and to continue to paddle as you pass over them. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have and are interested in learning more, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more kayaking tips and tricks.